everyone, this is Lifehack, welcome back to my playthrough of Veteran Odyssey 4. So, welcome to episode 31, part 2. Uh, today we are going to continue exploration of the place that we visited, but we're too engrossed by story to actually really do too much about. So let us make our way into the... South Sanctuary. Now we should be able to access the, yeah, we can take advantage of the geomagnetic field now. I'll just save. We'll just save here. It doesn't mess me up to save here, so may as well save here. You can't get too far without the height upgrade, I don't think. Let's do a little bit of exploring. Apparently, you can reach this second area, and that's probably where the flame is. That's probably where the archives are. It would make sense, too. <laughs> really? There's something in the whirlwind? Fast charm times one. Well, then. That's not something I expected. Dowsing rods. Like, Inquisition's treasure gives Medica three times two. That's awesome. Alright, let's continue the exploration of the South Sanctuary. Spark and kindling faint hopes. Very faint hopes. Oh man, every time you look up in these types of areas, you can just see so much. Like, there's second floors, and balconies, and all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, Lizard FOEs. Yep. If you have a sniper, you can use this skill that lets you spot- Oh, or you can use so uh, simple scopes to re-reveal their locations, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now the- you can't really ever access... Basically, I think these balconies where you can see over across the other side are technically walls. Uh, I don't treat them as any different. So in a way, it's kind of like Etronauts or Three's Water, where you can basically, since you're never going to pass over it and there's no significance to it, you can just ignore it. I don't think there's even anything that interacts with these cliffs. Maybe later, but not in this area, so we're just going to mark them as walls. You can also use your FOE radar to keep track of where these guys are. So you can tell if one's directly in front of you or behind you based on the meter on your top screen. So just keep an eye on it. These guys move in a fairly simple pattern, though. Just try not to be in a fight too long. Flame wall is going to be your best friend, but I don't have it. It's a double Medusa Tree Flame Rat set. Flame Rat is a reskin of the... Tree Rat, it is also a cousin to the Etrian Odyssey 1's Flame Rat, which also appeared in the fourth area. So, that's neat. And Medusa Trees are new, though they are similar to Sickwoods in their structure. Let's see. Guard up, because you always put guard up when you don't know what you're doing. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this. Fire Rune, Flame Rune, Heavy Strike. Flame, and poison? Let's try that. Okay, the trees are easily poisoned, but the rat is not. I believe the rat has a conditional drop. I want to figure out what that is. I think a second flame room will solve all of our problems. So I'm just gonna start slamming, start slamming things around. Yeah, these trees aren't very strong, so I'm not scared of them. 
Alright, what is your conditional drop? Flame tail. So does that mean kill with fire, or is that, is that just random? I'm gonna try with cut attacks. I'm pretty sure that's it. Scorched sap. Alright, so we got the conditional drop of the trees. But the flame rat, not so much. Okay, we'll keep trying for the flame rat. I'm pretty sure it's not kill with fire. I distinctly remember the tree rat, uh, the fire rat's conditional drop actually being extremely easy. Even though it's been a while since I've been to the fourth area. Oh. Okay. I almost thought I lost track of where the lizard was, but no, I didn't. I, I remembered where he was. Mine point. Same set, same problems. Okay, all of them are vulnerable to sleep. That is awesome. I like that, that's good. At least compared to Chaos Circle. Eh. Okay, so the yeah, F we took a different path. If he did not take a different path, if he continued in the circle the way he was going, then he would have snuck up on me, and he'd be directly in front of me. But the F we meter is telling me where he is, so... You can easily logic your way into figuring out where the chameleons are. They're not that difficult. Okay. This should be a fairly short area. Oh boy, Peach Crows! Making your return from Etronazi 3's fifth stratum. Ready to terrorize your team once again. They have a line attack, because the leg bind would be helpful, but I don't have it. They're weak to bolt, so I'm probably not supposed to be worried about that. Put up a shadow cloak so you don't die. Um don't put up Vanguard, just start throwing heavy strikes at it so you don't die. Storm rune, and we're gonna go for the sleep circle, because I think they're vulnerable to it. They are definitely vulnerable to it. Dismiss heal out. Defend, defend. Storm, defend should just do it. I didn't even need to use the dismiss heal, but I did. I should have, yeah. That's nice. Soccer going to level 34, that's cool. Where are you? Okay, you're not nearby. You're directly in front of me. Yeah, I knew he didn't sneak up behind me because his meter went up, like, really fast. Okay, so now he's on the lower level. Triple rat set. They're weak to ice. I don't have blizzard ring, though. That makes things difficult. Guard, so we're not taking so much damage. Fire rune. Because reasons. Heavy strike. Glacier sleep. Because I know they're vulnerable to sleep. May as well continue to use sleep. This is basically the equivalent of Etrianosity 2 Torpor spam. So, I'm fine with it. Okay, we're gonna ice coffin one of them, send an ice lance back, and uh, other shenanigans. Oh! 
Oh, that's because Flora isn't using a sword. I'm so dumb. I forgot that Flora wasn't using a sword. She's using the morale clock. I'm gonna stay here and try to get a conditional drop. Nice fire attack you got there. Ethelie's fast approaching. Doesn't matter. At least not a lot. Yeah, there it is. Flame Tail. I knew it was actually really easy. Yeah, he's gonna get directly in front of you, but he's not actually going to threaten your position. Okay, we're safe here, so we don't worry about the FOA. This is the same set, but the guys are oriented differently. This time, it's less vulnerable to flame wall. You can get flame tails even if you assassinate them. That's awesome. The 7K experience is the same as the ones you get from the double lava beast, double glacier beast sets, but eh, whatever. I mean, it doesn't have to be that good. What matters now is that Frost is running low on TP, so I need to be more TP conservative. Light is also running low on TP. So I might just have to resort to, uh, to Chaos Circle tactics. What is this? Uh, books? Let's try Frost. Yay, HP! Um, yay, HP. That wasn't TP. Darn. I wonder if I had a, if I had the uh, Arcanist read it, it would, if it would do anything different. All right, I don't know which way these guys moved. Shoot. Okay, that's what I thought. Man, you guys give me heart attacks. Peach Feather. We should have free reign just by going straight up. Pretty sure this is safe. Yeah, this was safe. But okay, this is probably the last fight, so... It's a kind of an easy one, so that's nice. I'm gonna go Chaos Circle on this. Glacier Rune's random hit, so blah. Poison Circle does damage. Wow, poison mist. Eh. Go chaos circle. That's more like it. Seems like the trees aren't so vulnerable to it as the rats are, but rats being vulnerable is all I need. I anticipate this being the last set, so I'm going to treat it like it is. You can actually use Dismiss Blow, can't you? Oh no, Dismiss Blow is a little bit too, too much. Oh man, that really hurt. Wow, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. 
Hey, if we're like, what, 150 without the fire rune up? That's terrible. Wow. That is really bad. I think that's the last fight this team can really do effectively. Anything else is really pushing it. Thankfully, it seems like we're done with the area. For now. Zeus's Wrath, the party lightning for a skill, which is expensive, but very, very nice to have. Alright, Karani Thread out. Could have used the Polestone, but I felt like the Aradni Thread was a little bit more urgent. We got a lot of items from this, so this will be helpful. A lot of conditional drops. Bastard Sword, Uchi Katana, Round Helm, Kilt Tassels, Panic Guard. Why do I need a Panic Guard? Alright, new sword. Yeah, new sword. Better than a Viking Sword, by like, a lot. Like, yes. I kind of needed this a long time ago. This Viking Sword is ex extremely outdated. Like, Gaia was barely doing any damage in the game. It's like, here, I'll be your divine savior. Have a Bastard Sword. Let me quickly check... Didn't I not get a peach leg? Did I just get a peach wing? Is that the problem? Because this would be a very nice upgrade. It's not that big of an upgrade, but it would be an upgrade. Nonetheless. I guess we get the Bastard Sword and be happy with that. It has two slots on it, too. Just make the sword stronger. It's nice for Lia to have good weapon once again. Being stuck with that Viking Sword for so long really is a disjustice to her attack power. Because, like, the difference between 190 attack and 216 attack, as I'm pretty sure you can imagine, it's a lot. So, hey there, everyone, this has been Life Kids Always, thank you for watching. Next time, we will explore the archives. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys then. Bye-bye.